Welcome Commanders, my name is Jacob Thompson, producer on Command and Conquer Tiberium Alliances. Today we're going to talk about our new endgame and how you are going to conquer the Tacitus. So the first stage you may be familiar with, and maybe your alliance has captured your own satellite codes. Throughout the region you're going to see satellites dropping in. Make sure you're out of the way when they fall down, because they'll kill your base. Once they're down, you can move in and hold that area against attacking alliances in order to capture the satellite code. Each member of your alliance can hold one satellite code and you need a minimum of 32 codes in order to progress to the next stage of the endgame. Stage 2 involves the very difficult to capture shield control hubs. Each position of the shield control hub is protected by a forgotten level 50 base. Now only one of your bases can hold a shield control position at anywhere on the map, which means you need your whole alliance to work together to capture the minimum shield control hubs, which is four. As there are only seven shield control hubs in the world, holding four of them is going to be a huge challenge as every alliance in your area is trying to stop you from being the winner. Inside of the shield control hub bases, you'll begin to see the true power of the Tacitus that the Forgotten have unlocked. This will be represented in the form of upgraded units that perhaps you're familiar with yourself. You will begin to see forgotten mammoths with the shield upgrade, or even stealth flak towers. This will mean that you will have to address these forgotten bases in a much more tactical fashion if you want to achieve victory. Once your alliance has the minimum shield control hubs, a timer will start on the forgotten fortress in the center of the map. This is a 10 day period where all other alliances are going to try to oust you from your position. Once that timer is complete, you and your alliance will be able to initiate attack on the Forgotten Fortress. Now this may seem a daunting task, as this will be the highest level base you will see on the entire map, but each member of your alliance can launch one virus attack which will lower the defensive capabilities of the Forgotten Fortress for a set amount of time. This means that if your entire alliance is online at the same time to initiate these virus attacks, you are going to have a significantly easier time. Keep in mind that there's an additional limitation. Each of your armies will only be able to attack the Forgotten Fortress once within a set amount of time. This means you have to take the full might of your alliance and all of your armies in order to take down this massive structure. Inside the Forgotten Fortress, you'll see a lot of surprises that are waiting for you. We've teased out some images and a little bit of descriptions on the website. One of these units is the Predatory Rocket Fist. Now watch out for these guys, they will really make your attack on the fortress much harder. Make sure you take these guys out if you want to have any shot at taking down the fortress and conquering the Tacitus for your alliance. If your alliance manages to take down the Forgotten Fortress and claim the Tacitus, you will be declared conquerors of the server. This comes with a special achievement and an icon and a ranking for all players in the server to see. Now this special badge will actually be visible on any server that you use your account. Keep in mind there are some limitations. While an alliance that has already won the server can destroy the fortress again, it will provide no additional rewards or medal. Joining a winning alliance may seem like an easy way to get a medal, but it won't work. Even if that winning alliance destroys the fortress again, you as an individual player will still not get the achievement. Once the fortress has been destroyed by an alliance, the fortress will respawn, giving other alliances an opportunity to win the server for themselves. All alliances that manage to destroy the fortress will get this achievement, regardless of how many times the fortress has been destroyed and respawned. The Forgotten Fortress is waiting. Does your alliance have what it takes to be the winner of your server? Good luck, man.